right, so we've got our base number and our exponent. Sometimes this number might be a bigger as far as a 9 versus a 6. Sometimes this one might be bigger as well. But our base number is going to be the larger sized number. The exponent is going to be the smaller sized number. So I want to go ahead and look at a couple of other examples. This big one would be our base number. And this small one would be our exponent. So again, if we had 5 squared, that would be our base number and our exponent. If we have a 2 as an exponent, we're going to say that is squared. So this would be pronounced 3 squared. And this would be pronounced 5 squared. So if it's got that little bitty baby 2 on it, the grown-up way to say it is not 3 to the second power or 5 to the second power. We're going to say 5 squared or 10 squared. If it's got a little 3 as an exponent, Anybody know what we say to that? What do we say? Cubed. Good. So this would be 4 cubed. If it's a 4 or more as an exponent, we're just going to say to the 4th power or to the fifth power, etc. So the only ones that have cool names are the twos and the threes. They say squared and they say cubed. Could you say this is three to the second power? Yes, it's just not really the cool way to say it. You could say this is 5 to the second power, and you could say this is 4 to the third power. But the more appropriate, the more grown up way to say it is cubed and squared. Let's take a look at this one. If I gave you this right here. If I wanted to expand that, all I'm going to do is write a 7 twice. If I want to write it, I'm going to say 7 squared. And what is 7 times 7? 49. 49. So my answer is 49. I always like to tell you where the most people make mistakes at. Because I would want to know, going through something, okay, where do people get tricked at? Where do people mess it up at? So I can be aware of that as I'm going through it. The place that the most of the people are going to mess up is they're going to see that 7 squared and they're going to write that the answer is 14. Because all of your life, up until now, you've seen a 7 and a 2 and you think, okay, well, I guess I'm multiplying, so 7 times 2 is 14. 
and now I'm telling you it's something totally different. Same thing if I have this, 2 cubed. I write my base number. The exponent tells me how many times to write it. So in this case, I'm going to write it three times. I say this as 2 cubed. And if I do 2 times 2 times 2, something that I like to do is go down and write it here and do a little bit of scratch work on it so I don't get confused. I know that 2 times 2 is 4, and I've still got to multiply it by 2 again. And 4 times 2 is 8. So 2 cubed is 8. Now, when we start getting big exponents, that's when we start getting bigger answers. And this will be 3 to the 4th power. Remember, no fancy word for to the fourth power. So I'm going to go down here and do some scratch work because this is a lot to look at. And I know that 3 times 3 is 9. And I know this times this is 9 as well. So I still need to multiply those two things against each other and I can get 81 as my answer. Now, could I have done this? 3 times 3 is 9. Then 9 times 3 is 27. And 27 times 3 is 81. Yes. yes, whichever way works best for you, whichever way makes the most sense in your brain. To me, it's the way in red. I feel like it's less work. But the way in blue may, may, may make more sense to you, and that's completely fine. It does not bother me which way you do it. Let's look at one more. Let's do four squared. I want you to try this one on your own, though. Did you get what I got? Good.